Hello again, I'm Michael Pollitt and I'm an Assistant Director at the Energy Policy Research Group at the University of Cambridge. Um, and in this bit of video I'm going to be talking to you about uh, recent developments in the regulation of electricity distribution companies in um, Great Britain. Um, uh, in the previous section, I was talking about um, the RPI minus X system of regulation that was introduced in 1990 uh, in the UK. Um, in 2010, the uh, Great Britain energy regulator Ofgem announced a major overhaul of the RPI minus X system of regulation um, and changed the name of the system of regulation to RIO, R-I-I-O. Uh, which stands for revenue equals incentives plus innovation plus outputs. Um, and the idea behind this change was to put uh, increased emphasis on um, the appropriateness of the incentives faced by um, electricity and uh, distribution network companies um, and to um, uh, I I offer enhanced incentives for innovation um, and to um, refocus on incentivizing the right outputs of um, electricity distribution companies. Um, and some of the major changes between RPI minus X and RIO are that there's going to be a longer price control period, eight years instead of five years. There's going to be increased emphasis on customer engagement where uh, electricity distribution companies are going to be expected to uh, talk to their customers for their services about what outputs are required um, and there's going to be a potential increased emphasis on competition in the provision of network services should the incumbent network companies not provide the right sort of service. Um, going forward, um, Rio is uh, the beginning of the increase um, uh, future proofing of uh, electricity distribution regulation, which has to take place given the increased demands on the electricity distribution system arising from um, the requirement to connect more uh, renewables, for instance, to the system and to respond to the challenges of smart metering. Um, and so in the uh, programme, I'll be talking a little bit more about one of the innovation projects that I'm in in engaged in that's funded by um, the, uh, the funding mechanism that's been put in place by the regulator to incentivise more innovation. And that project is looking at how you can efficiently connect more renewables to the existing distribution grid um, by offering innovative um, connection arrangements which incentivize uh, curtailment of uh, uh, distributed generators when that's more efficient than extending the existing network. Um, and that's a good example of how the commercial arrangements have to become much more sophisticated between um, electricity distribution companies and their customers, which in this case are distributed generators. Um, and I look forward to discussing with uh, all of you who come on the course uh, the sorts of future challenges that you face uh, in your countries in um, putting together uh, new business models and in appropriately adjusting the system of regulation to make it fit for purpose for the future. Okay.